Ooh, what's up guys? This is the Roverman and I am back to bring you to the second episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the Kingdom of Portugal. And to pick up where we left off, we things are going quite well. We've cautiously expanded into the Americas, we've given away Goa for a bit of land, and now we're going to defend against this sally of pirates. So let's do it. Although we are not going to be defensive, we are going to push forward. I'm going to use my cavalry to attack their mortars. But this won't capture the territory for us, but it will significantly damage their garrison for us to capture it next turn. Which we can then try and hold. Well, we should be able to hold it. Yeah, it's the pirate capital, so they're probably going to be a bit unhappy about us being there. Guns to the rear. Infantry up front. Pikes in reserve. General on the flank. Push, push, push. Gunners just pick a unit of buccaneers to engage. Don't bother going for their guns because mortars are usually bad targets because they're so small. It's difficult for your uh, guns to actually target them properly. Going after my pikemen, that's fairly typical. The AI does like to target mortars with. Uh, target pikemen with mortars. Got a pirate mob unit out here on the flank that might interfere with our push on the guns, but I don't think it's going to be too decisive. Let's so speed up time here because all we are doing is just getting bombarded by enemy mortar fire. Let's push my general through the gap. They may get a pistol volley from their guns. These pikemen may waver. Nope, they held out. There's a pistol volley. Oh no, these, these guys have muskets, sorry. Go for the guns. it's their mortars that are the, the most dangerous thing on the field. So yeah, let's see they are making our infantry route, but once we knock out their mortars things should level up quite convincingly. Although we may just dissolve in a charge take advantage of our superiority from our cavalry. As long as we can get this last mortar crew you men get a charge off into that firelock arm citizenry. Good. Get my general clear. The gunners can attack. Potentially nobody. All my infantry mass against this last remaining unit. My general charge in to get some good slaughtery kills. Good artillery target. The second light foot accidentally did some damage in here against troops we might not necessarily want them to hit. Just get them to charge the, the pirate mob. My general can pursue their field army to make sure they do stay routed, but ultimately everybody charge the pirate mob. Stop us in barrels. So we cannot fire. But we can charge, damn it. more casualties than I'd normally like and I would like to take at all. I cease my guns from firing because they are going to be attacking the unit that we are trying to kill. My general to keep on picking at this particular unit because they're not shattered. The 
See, this is so infuriating to do this. Engage us! We're, we're fighting you, don't try and run! I am expecting a quick win here against this pirate mob. His militia are more than adequate to deal with them. Especially with all this extra support we've got coming in. Attack the mob! The general's not going to be in any trouble. We accidentally captured this building by running past it. Come on, pikemen. Don't be shy. Nope, but they've gone already. The general's going to engage this last pirate mob. Just let them smash them down because they'll break. Obviously my general dies. Obviously my general dies in the last charge. <clears throat> Against a pirate mob unit. Classic. So let's keep the pirates moving on. 1600. Got a port in Puerto España. That's good. So you men... Replenish. Well that's only 800 cash. Top back to Europe. Uh, you guys bolster the army. We need to. Well, we need more mass in this army because we're either gonna. Well, we're gonna have rebellions to deal with, so we just need more numbers. Um, because you're not. We're not gonna be able to leave. Um, we're not gonna be able to leave the capital alone. Although two must probably. Realistically, we could just assault it and deal with a problem now. And they are very weak. The mortars aren't a huge threat, or not as much of a... Th nah, let's keep doing what we're doing. Stay... keep things... Let's stay steady. Let's not go mad. Heroic death. Death from one of my good generals, which is annoying, but whatever. Okay, can we trade with anyone? Doesn't look like it. Two more turns to get Physiocracy, which is a really good tech to get. Successful mission, election results. No one's three stars or less, so at least everyone's useful. Okay, let's hit end turn. We're planning on letting our... No, I don't like that. I don't like that. Okay, good. I don't... I never like it when I can see AI factions sending troops to uh, sit in ports. I never like that. Yeah, we're gonna need we're gonna need serious numbers because we want to. I want to take Madrid, take Gibraltar, then consolidate my position. So I will need more units of militia. <clears throat> I need militia just to bulk out my armies a little bit more at this stage. I can't necessarily afford full armies of line infantry. Hello, Mughal Empire. Just a second, everyone. Yeah, there you go, Sally. We're just going to auto that. Could have effectively done it. Okay, hop over to the Americas because... Yeah, you really don't like us. So let's exempt you from tax. Pair the governor's barracks. It's, you guys are going to replenish. Recruit a militia from there and a militia from... Nassau. So they can both join. So when this back when this region becomes more um, more open to our rule, we can be a bit more flexible and do some interesting things. But for now, we, we are kind of limited in what we can do. So you might stay there. So there you go. That's one. Well, let's break the university on the way because we are about. We're going to take it next turn. But I'm going to let them. I'm going to let them sally because that's the most. That's the most friendly in terms of casualties. 
can't recruit anything here. There are a unit of pikes wandering around. Okay, one thing I didn't do was knock my policies in Europe down. I did in the Americas, but not here. So, should help Lisbon grow faster. And it will help Spain down the line, but we are at to down to 1,400 as far as our income is concerned. Let's send this galleon to South America. Let's send... send this galleon as well to South America. Bolster our trade fleets. We still have some nodes with one ship on them. I'd like to improve that. One more turn to Physioxy, which is pretty handy. So let's hit end turn. Great Britain's on the move. France is being France. But yeah, ideally... I take Spain, subjugate it, split my army in half, and send one hour half of it south. Yeah, so this is exactly what we want to happen. We want Spain to sally, so we can lose as few troops as possible to make sure our garrison is as strong as possible once we take the city. Um, I mean, that, it would be useful if we get attacked, but my main concern is going to be Spanish public order, which is going to be pretty bad. So we may want to demolish the university, or at the very least keep it broken. Rather than... Uh, tearing it off the bat. I might actually put my... I don't, I'm not going to deploy my entire army, because their army is really quite weak. So I can keep a core of infantry in good condition. The garrison duty. Man. Are we going to be attacked? Don't think so. Screw it. Split them up at the very least. I suppose it will, sp it will um, spread casualties around the army rather than focusing them. Their army's pretty, pretty weak. Charge, cavalry, charge. Although my cavalry's all the way over there. Focus my guns on, oh no, they're all here. Good move, eh? See, they've managed to retreat my field artillery. Although I suspect, actually, the fault was mine from not deploying them. Charge down the hill and engage the guns to the front. The infantry themselves aren't a worry. For a minute there, I thought that my guys were wavering. And that's the enemy general killed, which is extra lovely. So you men push ahead. You men secure the gates. We'll secure the defences, at the very least. Mm. 
these men are still firing guns and they're routing. You men fire well off. Has this happened again? No, okay, good. Make ready and engage those gunners. Or am I not? Why is this starting to be a thing? Oh, it's raining. I see. So, new viewers to my channel. Uh, for whatever reason, with my mod, with Darth mod, uh, the surest way to get sounds to be intermittent is... Uh, is for it to be raining. Because for whatever reason, when it rains, my sound screws up. Could be spread out more efficiently. Engage the general's bodyguard, run my uh, run my pikeman up and they'll go through the breach and clear out that last unit. In the centre, provincial cav. Attack the armed citizenry. Team and run across. Secure the gate. Currently open, but I want it to be ours. Oh, loud. So you men, fix your bayonets. Uh, bad luck. Get in there, you men all help the cavalry attack that unit. Pike, that's infantry back there. Let's move my pikemen over here. There we go, so now we've got a bit of a surround going. It would be useful to wipe out this infantry but I'm kind of in a way I'm kind of happy that some of my infantry are currently just not getting involved you may engage the fire lock arm citizenry because we're about to see an overall complete route yep you guys are routing this last unit on the wall this last unit off the wall sorry it's been engaged cease fire the guns Excellent. So, a bit messy. But there we go. So the army in Spain has been annihilated. And now the job is to hold Madrid. Well, it should be. Spain doesn't want to attack our one army, our one fleet. That's part of the reason why I haven't broken that fleet up. Ooh. So they're already enemies. Is that three grand? Fine. They're already at war with Austria and Prussia. It's the three grand I want because I've got Madrid to look after. With, with that, I can repair the government building and the cultural. Oh, good. They're going to sell past. I can I can repair the government building and the um, cultural building this turn. Nope. Uh, I can do that this turn rather than waiting a few turns, which means that Madrid, uh, Madrid is more likely to get under my control faster. So I'm a bit... Oh, so that's physiocracy done. So get on with ring bayonet. I'm acutely aware that I've now got a border with France. 
So they're minus three. Not bad, actually. If I repair the Opera House and the Royal Palace, it's going to suck up a lot of cash. Let's repair everything, really. You men. Plenish. We won't get everyone. My spy can push out. I wonder... No, I don't want to make peace yet, but hello, bing bong. Let's see if we can get trade with France. We might, we might be more stable now. Trade with the Ottomans is usually good. 13 colonies we'll also try and get, which we have done. Excellent. It's a lot of really good trade economy, trade agreements there. I may send a detachment forward to go and attack this army. Well, it's just pikes. Yeah, just fight them. I only lost 14 men there. They didn't want them to uh, cause problems in Catania. So they're minus five. I should get better once we hit and turn and get more troops over. I'm hoping that we see a similar thing here. So we can get rid of the shipyard. Minus five. Okay, it looks like we're probably going to have a rebellion or a, of some description. So let's bring this other militia unit across. If, if they rebel on this island... See, that's the reason why I did this. And then I could do this. Just... I hate when they show me the option to unload troops and then it decides that they elect not to do it. So you men can't get there this turn now. So you can sail to San Jose de Orona. This sloop can occupy Grand Bahama to present, prevent Spain from causing problems. 2,300 though. In income, that's pretty good. We've got Salamanca we can do stuff with, but we definitely want to wait. Apart from that, though, everyone's doing pretty well. So let's hit end turn. The hope is once we repair those government buildings, we'll be in the positive, and I can send at least half my army. Ooh, Britain's invaded Malta. That's pretty cool. Yes, France, we are your allies. We make money together. What? Oh, God. Right, okay. Call in my allies. They both betrayed me. <laughs> right. Classic Empire. Let's agree to trade. Yeah, sure, we'll trade. Only for one turn, and then we'll just declare war on you anyway. And neither of my allies wanted to back me up. In which case, I am going to role play realistically. So I'm going to go, no, screw you. I could use the money, but I'm not going to let you have it. I'm not going to let you get away with it, betraying me like that. We Portuguese are a proud people. You refused to support us in our hour of need. And I need militia. Because <laughs> I want to try and I need to clean up uh, Gibraltar sooner rather than later before they start to recruit troops to do too much raiding. And the Barbary states, they're going to be problems now. I've got access to shipyards or access to positions in the eastern Mediterranean. We may get our ports raided. Stay away. Stay away from my ports. So you're going to stay there with your broken, with your broken uh, military building, and think about what you've done because we've only got twelve hundred guerrillas. Hold the port, so I can try and recruit a sloop to hold it. Spain's now okay, and we can tax them. 
So you're... Pro who have they got? A lot of good infantry. And some guns. But I'm gonna, I mean, I've got a f nearly a full garrison here, so I'm not worried about that. That will suck up a lot of our money. You men can pull back. Regroup with this unit of militia. And begin to put a force together to threaten Gibraltar. Uh, did I did I have an agent die? Still, at least we will boost our sugar imports. Actually, no, you go to that one because they're currently a singleton. You, that's occupied, isn't it? Well, it was. It was 13 colonies. It is the 13 colonies. They're still there. Yes. Okay, so this policy, we're going to have to bump up taxes a little bit. Not ideal. 3,000. That's a good amount of cash. Who can we trade with in lieu of the French? Nobody. Three more turns to get sock ring bayonet. Sooner would be better rather than later. Apart from that, well, it depends where you, can, you You do have a route directly to the capital, but if you go for us, we will take you out. So, oh, well, there's my agent. I wanted to see if I can make them go assassinate that French general. Come straight for me. You fools. Do this. They've got guns. They will make their way in. But then again, so do we. So if they do make a breach, we will be able to cover it with grape shot. Let's have a look. We've got our own mortars, which are just chaos. Ooh. Okay. So where are my weaker units? Like you! Weak units can still deploy defences. So some of my light infantry units You guys hold position. So you're deploying down here. I mean, militia aren't terrible on the walls. I have to keep double clicking just to make sure I am selecting appropriate units. We do want some regular men on the walls. Ultimately. These pikemen can deploy a... I mean, there's no point deploying any more stakes. Maybe one there? In case they come through this way, they die. Something like that. Got some infantry. Got two be you, you guys don't have to deploy anything else, but you may just deploy... trenches. Although you can't, for some reason. General get in. Mortars get in. They're not going to do any good, though. Cavalry stay to the rear. And the gorillas up front. A unit of skirmishes. You men run, militia and irregulars, you men fall back. See, mortars, when I use them, are horrendously inaccurate. And I've got a feeling if I target them, yeah. So, where are they focusing on? This section. Okay. See, that's going to be shots from my men on the walls. They got some good troops. They don't. They don't have proper bayonets fitted either. It's 
So what's going to happen is when they get within range, depending on what happens, we may just fix plug bayonets and attack them. When they get within range, these men will reform. Ooh, excellent shot by the enemy guns. We've started to respond. Pikemen don't really have a purpose. These guys creeping along. I'll never know where we are. Few, oh good, a few units going to try and flank. I might try and get these skirmishers up here. You man, going to be fire at will. Off. Yeah, if they try to charge the walls. Against my militia, I'm definitely going to have to equip socket bayonets. Come on, you men. Face. Take positions on the wall. Pushed away one skirmish unit. It's unfortunate we're going to have to semi-sacrifice the 7th. It will be worth doing. To be honest, my guns are going to be overkill. Irish Brigade are going to see off these enemy troops. I've seen away the 1st Regiment, so you men deploy like so. Just so they keep shooting at us. So who are you? Ah. Bring my pikes out, bring my cavalry out if they want to engage us. There we go. There we go. That's my only real choice. That's not a bad position for you to use your guns. More to stop firing. They may try and bring down this section of the wall, which it looks like that's what they're going to do. So let's get our guerrillas out of there. Here they come. Making their way in. Fire at will, Commander. Skirmish is gone. Let's push my cavalry around to attack the 21st Regiment. You then both jump on the 3rd Regiment. Withdraw, pull back rather. Don't withdraw, but it's not the same thing. So you men have manned the rear fire step and we're engaging inside the fort. I don't want to lose that firepower advantage. It's a lot of dead Frenchmen. You men make ready and execute those men. Be 
just he, he just made it over the fence. What about this guy? Well, he's okay. He's gonna make it, you lucky swine. Be careful, the job there, cavalry that can deploy. But I am keen. Let's get my cavalry used to mop up French infantry. do a lot of damage to them so it takes them a long time to rebuild their strength. They're going to be pushed north which is the good direction just be ready for their, their cavalry to commit their guns have ceased firing don't want to go mad into the charging toward too much towards the enemy cavalry more frenchmen are pouring through the third regiment of militia officer up front but he's down i don't mind their cavalry deploying as long as my pikemen are nearby may be able to kill the entire regiment of infantry which would be really useful still engaging the enemy at range gendarmerie and cheveux leger Wipe out the 21st Regiment. Don't give them an opportunity to recover or regroup. Yeah, they're focusing on my pikemen. Fundamentally, now is the time to push out. Keep losing Pikemen otherwise. There we go, we're going to chase down the enemy regiment of foot. Both of you then chase down the third regiment of militia. You have to close the distance rapidly. One last Frenchman. Good, you've killed an entire French cavalry French infantry unit. Deploy my general. See now suddenly they realize. So my cavalry might my, my pikemen might not necessarily like this trade if we can just catch the gendarmerie my provincial cavalry hit their lances all my infantry mass for this new combat get my general to pursue the routing troops the gendarmerie have lost a lot of men charge my pikemen into this combat Second regiment of horse go after the general's bodyguard. Oh, they're falling fast. You will worry about the demi cannons soon, but not yet. I 
much. You might worry about them. Well, not now, but I meant like. <laughs> well, it's then was the time to, to worry about them. We will continue the battle to make sure we do as much damage as possible. And that is a nice, decisive victory. So the French force has been obliterated. Excellent. Oh, that is a good trade. So my hope is that after that tanning they got over their hides, we will be able to uh, reach a negotiated peace settlement. They will see that they cannot uh, influence the workings of the Portuguese Empire through their perfidious ways. Instead, we must make peace and make money together through trade. Then I can bolster my own strength and expand the Americas and then take advantage of the lack of a coherent Spanish Empire in the Americas. Because Spain, or well, the Spain and her protectorates and her colonies, own a significant chunk of the Americas, and that's enough to keep us occupied and keep our treasury growing handsomely. Unless stuff like that happens, and then in which case we do need um, ships. Ships on the right side of the Strait of Gibraltar. France. So you just took a big loss. Very well. They're probably going to go raiding up here, and that's okay. I'm going to be a bit short on on the doing stuff side. Because you men are going to need a reasonable chunk of troops. In fact, the units that are... Eh, maybe use the small unit to reinforce some of these depleted ones. Let's take these depleted units out to bolster Marcos and Sacramento. Yeah, keep just keep holding so we can drive down this resistance to foreign occupation because that's not going to go anywhere quick. Then over here in the Americas, pirate army. I think. Well, either way, they'll attack us or we'll attack them. Uh, two more turns to a socket bay now. That's really useful. Uh, rebellion. To be honest, I'm not so worried about the rebellion. Come at me, pirates. Britain's going to keep the trade lanes open thanks to their naval base in Malta. Hopefully they will continue such action against the Barbary States. Yeah, they took Bahamas. Very well. They can take the Bahamas. This That might be problematic, actually, for, in terms of controlling Spain. They're going to offer us... Yeah. Yes, please. We need money, Poland. You can buy our technologies from us. But at the very least, if I secure Gibraltar, that will be... At least we have a more of a coherent front line against the French. And could, down the line, push, push against Paris... But that's still not an ideal outcome. Because if you raise an army to push on Paris, you've got shenanigans around northern Italy. So unless you can sail your way all the way over... Oh, yes, Britain. Unless you can sail an army around and land on the northern coast and sail south and attack them... Barcelona has been raided, but 4,000! We need to keep... We need trade... We're going to build a fifth rate in Cartagena. So we can't get our ships across because this small... Granted, there's only a small fleet, but it's a fleet that's good enough. See how silly you are. You want the Palmas and Trinidad and Tobago? No. No, sir. I mean, the pirates just sat there. Yeah, fine. Mysore has been annihilated. Who by? 
The British. The British have taken Mosul. Good on them. You men replenish. We'll get a new general. Marcos Sacramento. You will get a cavalry unit. You men. Yeah, we'll exempt you from tax return. Actually, no, you are only just upset because they broke your coaching in, so we should be able to keep taxing you, actually. And we got our regulars who can join Mr. Sacramento. Good. One more turn to ring bayonets. We've got our sloop. Can't do any more trading. It's so unfortunate the French are going to take Bahamas, but there we go. Not a lot we can do about that. It's not impossible that we end up... We lose most of our sealer. That's, that's a beast of an army. I cannot let them push south and raid Cartagena. So that army that's currently blocking off uh, the enemy in Gibraltar, they will have to move east. Some of my garrison... Ooh, perfect. Well, kind of perfect. Okay, the army that's currently blocking the Gibraltar forces from moving out, they need to move east. Half of my garrison in... Madrid will need to move south, or at least as much of it as possible will need to move south. And then we will need to... Well, just, just hold on to Madrid. Yes. But if you seek war with Britain, I will break that alliance. I want that money. The Barber State's going to blockade my port now, are they? Nope. Let them do whatever they like in that regard. We just need to build up our fleet somewhat. So now this sloop... She couldn't even... Well, it's fifth rate. We couldn't even see them coming. Well, you might stay there, actually, just to try and make it more difficult for them to move their army around. Lost the Bahamas. Not a huge impact, but it's an impact nonetheless. So you men... Go east. Bolster them with cavalry. I think I might have to recruit from back here. Well, let's get some more militia. Militia can hold forts quite well, especially early game. We can repair this. Keep Salamanca damaged. I can't recruit any extra ships. You could cause problems, but you're only you're quite small. So it's not impossible to think that France is going to go on a tear through all these colonies, which is... It is possible, in which case this army... I mean, the pirates just sat there and I'm just sat there, so I'm just ha I'm content to just let this tick down because this pirate army isn't actually doing any material... It's, it's damaging my pop growth, but we have no towns except for Guadeloupe anyway. Keep them tax-free. So you've researched socket bayonet. Let's go on to probably common land enclosures. You can build some farms. Be playing this steady because remember, Spain hates us. We can't move our army out of Madrid for a while unless we can get that resistance to foreign occupation down. They're going to come at me in Madrid again. 
that's their prerogative and it's going to go badly wrong. But at least they've gone towards Madrid, so the army that's gone west, east, they can go west. Combine forces with both of those forces of militia, then head south to Gibraltar. If they continue to cause problems, we will sail on Sardinia, we shall take that and try and go for peace. We shall then sail on to Naples, take that and try and go for peace. With Spain, that is. New Spain, I'm not so bothered about, because we want to see... We want New Spain to be grumpy with us, at least for now, because it gives us some excellent opportunities for expansion. Not looking at making peace with anyone just yet. Let's have a look. So everyone keep on keeping on. Yeah, I would like to build up my own navy in Cartagena just a little bit more. But yeah, okay, so now you can go to Cordoba. Combine your strength. You don't need all those troops. You men combine. Put Gibraltar under siege. If you guys go for the capital, you will you march to your death. Twenty two hundred to get better roads for Spain. Sloops, galleons and fifths, we're not really interested in any of that. Let's get another unit of guns. Cause then they can join this army. Yeah, soon Spain will be on our side and they will hate the fact that there are invaders on our coast on our um, front lines I should say but Britain's going to scoot what's France going to do they're going to leave siege to us so we're going to sally and destroy them they think that they can do the trick I'm going to pull, or that I pulled. That's not true, because, uh, well, we're going to see that I'm not just going to sit there and take their punishment. I would like the French to be at war with some other people rather than just us. But people in hell want ice water. Right now, we do. Right now, to be honest, I'm fairly okay with how things are Gibraltar, but I'm not so happy that Lisbon's got no garrison but there's not a lot we can do about it at least until we take Gibraltar then we've got a bit of wiggle room but even then it's tempting to push from Gibraltar straight down to Morocco and then begin to advance across North Africa because we're already at war with the Barbary States no money Oh, it's because you're cut off from trade because you're being sieged. I see. Okay, you guys are gonna you, you guys are gonna maintain your siege, deploy far back, and engage with your muskets when it happens. You men are gonna sally and engage this French force. But looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time. For our, as we re-engage Camille de Hostun. Cheers, everyone. <laughs>